Hey guys, I'm here today with my Sample Sunday video. I've used up a nice array of some samples. As you know, I had quite a skin reaction a few weeks ago, so I had really decided to tone it down and take it easy with some of the skincare samples. So I've been trying to use up some other things, and I have a wide little variety. So I'll just go ahead and do this one first. This is the Maybelline Dream Wonder Powder. I got this in maybe like the Walmart beauty box. It's just like a little card with powder. And honestly, I don't know what the shade is. I can't find it anywhere. It's that color, so it's quite dark. So I decided to try it as maybe like a bronzer because I know a lot of people will buy like a darker tone face powder and use it as contour or bronzer. I guess because it was like, it's a face powder and it had a lot of coverage. So it made it like dark, dark. It didn't look good. I used the Dream Matte Powder before they reformulated it, and that was a nice powder. Um, so if I was in the market for a powder, I would be willing to try this in my shade, but I just, I didn't even bother finishing it up because it looked clown-like. Okay, this is the Glam Glow Bright Mud Eye Treatment, and this is a really interesting product. So, it comes like this, and it's two little pods, and it says to use one under a left eye and the other one under the right eye. You get a lot of product, and it looks, it's similar to the Glam Glow Mud, where it has the chunks of stuff, but this is more like a clear jelly. And I'll use one pod under both eyes at the same time and still have some left over. So, I don't know you would not need to use a whole pot under one eye. And you leave it on three minutes and then you wipe it off with a tissue. And when it's done, it makes my under eyes look really like lively and awake, but it has almost like a red tingling look, but not in a bad way. It's more like the skin has really been like energized and awoken. I don't know if that makes any sense. I have quite a few samples of these. Anytime I get a chance to get one, I do. And when I say that phrase, anytime I get a chance to get one, I do. I don't like place an order just for it. But if I'm checking out and it's available, I always pick it. I just wanted to clear that up because I thought one day, the way it sounded, I was hoping that y'all didn't take it as if I see it, I just order. But um, this is very expensive. So I don't think I would ever suggest spending the retail value but I know a lot of people have found it at like TJ Maxx and stuff I would probably I would probably pick it up if I saw it there but I will continue to get the samples because it is a neat thing and it only takes three minutes okay this is the eye cream I have been using the past two weeks it's the same one and it's the La Prairie Switzerland anti-aging eye and lip contour cream that's what it looks like and I have two packs of this it says use a.m. and or p.m. after cleansing and toning using fingertips delicately smooth around the contours of the eye and lips I didn't use it around my lips I would compare this most similar to the Algenist eye balm and kind of like the Bobbi Brown hydrating cream not the Bobbi Brown eye balm but the hydrating cream it's like that in texture and I like it. It's very just simple feeling and moisturizing, but I'm pretty sure this brand is relatively expensive. So for that price, I would probably go with the, the other two, but it was really nice and I would use it again. I mean, if I got a sample, I would hands down use it. It was nice. Okay, this is the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Repair Eye Treatment. And it says it decreases DNA damage, improves cellular proliferation, and it's certified organic. I guess right now my under eyes are more dry, and it is winter time. And this was very, it didn't give me enough moisture. I mean, I do want to combat like anti-aging on my under eyes, but I guess the number one thing, it has to be moisturizing. If it's just combating anti-aging and it's not moisturizing then my under eyes are going to look worse than if I was using nothing you know what I mean so if you have very very no dryness whatsoever I think it would be nice it felt nice but it just didn't provide enough moisture for my personal needs okay three more this is the makeup forever mist and fix makeup setting spray 
I've gone through one of these before and I said that the sprayer sprayed out real poorly. It sprayed out like three drops. So I couldn't even attest to how it worked. But this one sprayed out a really fine, nice mist. I liked it a lot. Um, I have another one I'm working on right now and I actually decided to do a different trick and I sprayed it on my foundation brush before smearing in my foundation. Smearing in, that sounds lovely. Because I've seen a few people mention that. Curious Sparkles here on YouTube was one person that mentioned it somebody else the other day I loved how it worked um this is provides kind of the same result as the Mac fix plus to me it's not like a um set down your makeup mattifying but it just kind of like gives it that little bit of like dewiness moisture you know so I'd have to compare the prices to the Mac fix plus but it was nice this is the Victor and Rolf Spice Balm. It's a man's fragrance. I love it. Oh, it smells so good. It's woodsy with like a sweet hint. I think it is unisex for sure. If you like scents similar to mine, like woodsy, musky, vanilla, I think they describe them as oriental. Give it a try. Don't be put off by it being a men's fragrance. And then last but not least, this is the Josie Marin. Argan Infinity Lip and Cheek Creamy Oil in Limitless Pink. Well, okay. I liked it. I liked how it felt on my lips. I liked how it looked. I wouldn't put it on my cheeks personally. However, to go through this whole sample pack would take a long time. And it's a tear thing. So I used it for like a week and then I just had to get rid of it. Because it just seemed kind of gross and like fuzz would collect on it. If they were to offer this and like... A little hundred point perk size I would try it like with a lid or if a deluxe size sample I would but I would not purchase the full size because it's big it would take me my lifetime to go through that but it felt really nice and moisturing on your lips you know kind of like those fresh sugar colored treatments it's kind of like that in an idea but not a stick form so if you are into Josie Marin and that sounds like something you'd like, maybe give it a try or at least get a sample if you can. So those are all my samples. And I did want to mention one thing. One of my viewers last sample Sunday, she messaged me or commented and said that she was going to put up a sample Sunday video that week. So she would be on track with me. I don't know if she's going to do it this week, but her name is Chrissy S. And I will link her channel down below. And I watched her video last week. And I think if you enjoy watching me, you'll really enjoy watching her. Because she, I think we have a lot of the same skin characteristics. She's really cute. She has kind of like a um, auburn reddish hair. She's really, really pretty. She's a little bit younger than me. But I think if you are into my videos, you should check her out. And she does some Retin-A videos and, you know, various things. So I will link her channel below. And Chrissy, I hope, I hope I'm saying your name right. I hope you continue doing these videos because I enjoyed it because you're the only one I've ever got to watch do it besides myself. So that is all for now. I will see you guys later. Bye.